Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That was a little exciting because I'm excited about this video, y'all. But welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Paulina. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a look on this no makeup makeup look trend that I've been seeing going on lately. And I'm really living for it because that's what I'm all about. I love a no makeup makeup look. You already know if you've been watching me for a while, I just like the whole natural effect of makeup to make it look like I'm not wearing makeup, can't clock me in sunlight, none of that. So, but yeah, so I saw this trend and I got really excited because I was like, I feel like I have a ton of good products that I feel like work for me for my go-to makeup and no makeup looks and I feel like you know, I wanted to share it with you guys and I just have a bunch of great products that I highly recommend. I've been using for a while and yeah. So if you guys want to see how I got this no makeup and makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my moisturizer. I already cleansed my skin for the day. I also put on my eyebrows because I was looking really pale. So I'm going to go in with my Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Replenish. And I'm going to just put that on as a kind of like a, a base for this because I need to be nice and hydrated and just can't leave the house or can't even do my makeup without putting moisturizer on. It's my favorite thing. Skincare is key, y'all. It is key. So now I'm going to go in with my Magic Eyes by Charlotte Tilbury, my eye cream. A little bit goes a long way. My eczema kind of flared up under my eyes, which is why you can probably see the redness a little bit underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna, let's look past it, okay? All right, so moisturizer, eye cream are on. One last thing is lip balm. I'm gonna go in with this Laneige sleeping mask and just pile that on my lips I like it a lot for a base like I use it at night I use it during the day this stuff can't can't live without it anymore now that I'm all set all ready for the makeup I'm gonna go in with my new favorite primer and it is the skin to die for by Peter Thomas Roth I love this brand I use a bunch of the skincare I just you know I saw a beauty guru rave about this stuff and I was like, I need to try it. So, um, yeah, but I've been loving it. It's really good. It is a mattifying primer and I don't really care for mattifying kind of primers, but this one I don't feel like is too mattifying. I just feel like it really does smooth the skin and it is lovely. So I'm going to put that all over the face. I use about that much. And it does have a little bit of it. It kind of reminds me of the Benefit Professional, but it's not as dry. I don't know how to explain it. Like the Benefit Professional Primer is super duper dry. And I feel like it like balls off a little bit. And I love that stuff. But now I've realized there's different stuff out there to try. And I've just been exploring primers lately. So... Because I feel like a primer is super important, in my opinion, in order to conserve the longevity of your makeup. Done. So, um, to achieve this so-called no makeup makeup look, um, you need to go in with something that's light hand. You know, for me, I don't feel like I need to cover up much, which is why I can use like a, a tinted um, foundation and not so much like a full coverage foundation. Even though I do have some foundations that I do, you know, time and place. Time and place for everything, people. There is a time and a place for a full coverage foundation. There is a time and place for a no makeup makeup look foundation. So, I'm talking a lot with my hands. <laughs> But, so yeah, so I'm just, I've been really enjoying the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. This is kind of a light foundation, so-called a tint, if you will, and um, I've just really been enjoying it. It does, like, MAC is the OG of all makeup. Let's just be real. MAC is the OG. They know what they're doing. They've been in it for the long haul. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like it. It sits really nicely on my skin. It does give a nice glowy 
finish which is why I don't mind using the matte primer with this stuff and um, yeah it's great so I'm in the shade C2 which is the second to lightest shade and I'm just gonna put this a little bit on the back of my hand it's a water-based foundation so it's super light and runny kind of and I just put that like all over my face and then I take the rest and I kind of don't cringe too much. I do not cringe too much. But I do go in with my finger. There's just something about going in with your fingers for a light coverage foundation that just gives the best effect. You have, two spon you have sponges right here. Use them. See? And I don't feel like you really need to be that precise with this um, foundation just put it on with your fingers easy you cannot get easier than that I just go in with a makeup wipe after I use that and then that's it I just think it's super beautiful see the finish super natural it didn't cover like my moles that I have on my face it just made it everything even even toned you know I love that so now I'm gonna go in with you guys, I'm cheating on my Tarte Shape Tape. I am cheating. And it's with this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. You know, I've seen beauty gurus talk about it all the time. And, um, yeah, I know why now. I know why. This is just the perfect little concealer. It's like a little pot concealer. And um, I'm in the shade Custard. And I just go in with my finger. And I just place it wherever I feel like I need the concealer, you see? And this one I got in the shade that matches my skin tone. I didn't go lighter like I usually would. And I've just been trying to go for this like effect now of being natural. You know, the no makeup, makeup look, if you will, again. Um, but yeah, so I just take it super creamy it blends in the scale scale <laughs> stroke um no so it blends in the skin beautifully so i just place it where i want it on the skin and then i take my charlotte tilbury hollywood complexion brush and i just buff it in where i put apply that and it's just so good it doesn't set like you know it doesn't dry so you can't blend it out just so good it's so creamy that's what i like about it there's nothing better than creamy products in the summertime i'm convinced convinced actually i feel like any time of the year you can use you know a creamy product and it'll look good because it's just natural and this is what's good about this brush is that i can blend it here with this bigger side and I'm kind of like pouncing it in and moving it and then they have this little side for the concealer you can just do like precise like that and I'm not kidding y'all this brush is just so good it literally blends out effortlessly I have the um, Artiste brush and I honestly don't like it. <laughs> that brush is so expensive and I just feel like it leaves streaks every time I use it. And whenever I keep getting eye boogers, <laughs> but every time I use it, I just feel like it leaves streaks. And this one, like, flawless, let's be real. In the name. It even has it in the name, y'all. Just like that. I feel like this is the perfect no makeup kind of finish so now that we are sticking to this little theme i'm gonna go in with my mac studio fix powder in the shade nc25 i'm gonna take that on my mac 129 i'm sorry but i just love mac i could use mac products that like i could just use mac for the rest of my life and i'd be completely happy i don't need all these other brands let's be real just kidding, I do. But if I but if I had to, the one brand that I can only use for the rest of my life, it'd be MAC. All their brushes, all their products. Like, they just know what they're doing. And 
I only set under the eye when I'm trying to achieve a no makeup makeup look on my nose a little bit and right in here, right in here. Done. So now I'm going to go in with a cream bronzer. We're sticking to the cream theme right now and I'm going to go in with my Solitan de Chanel bronzer. World's best cream bronzer of life and I'm just taking this stippling Real Techniques brush and find like a stippling brush for cream products is the best and I love it so just like that see it's just so good and I'm just blending it a little bit up into the hairline a little and just warmed up the skin so nicely and I'm gonna take it up a little bit into my forehead hello <laughs> just take that into my forehead so now I'm gonna use a powder on top of the bronzer just a little bit and it's this Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. I lately cannot have open it. I can't open it lately. What the heck? I literally okay. Crisis averted. But um yeah, the Sun Bunny bronzer, I like it because it has a sheen to it. So like just sheen you would think sheens on the face to make it look not natural, false. It makes it look more natural when you have a little bit of sheen. So I'm just gonna go over that Chanel bronzer a little bit. Put it down my nose a little, just to cover that up a little. Just add, make it look a little more bronzier. And then just take it on the hairline. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this Tom Ford Sunstruck stick and it's a glowing kind of stick and a blush all in one and this blush is a little bit intimidating but don't you fret i just take a little bit on my ring finger and then i just put it right there like i told you do not fret and then i just work it in with my finger see just a pretty pretty pink and now, last but not least, we got to put some highlighter. I feel like, yeah, no makeup, makeup look, you wouldn't really think to put highlighter. So this is an optional step, but I just can't leave the house with a without, I can't talk today. I just can't leave the house without highlighter. It's just a necessity for me now. And I got this new little Smashbox highlighting brush and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's the precise highlight and it's kind of angled and I'm just pretty obsessed with it because I wanted one that wasn't, so, I wanted it to be precise and it's just perfect. Anyways, so I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow and I'm going to use the highlight and I'm just going to put that where you will. Highlighter. I'm going to just put that a little bit like that and then I'm going to bring it up a little bit over here. In the summertime, it's acceptable to go up there with your highlight. And then, same for this side. So, I just put on my mascara and stay tuned for my video on my lashes. I'm sharing a huge secret on my eyelashes and I've been super thrilled with them lately so stay tuned for that video but I did off camera on accident um use my mac prep and prime fix plus setting spray and I just spray that all over my face that really helps to prolong your makeup and I just feel like with all the mac products on my face it just melts it all together and I feel like it's meant to be together so yeah I just I love this spray so yeah you guys so I'm just I've really been living for the natural look. I feel like it's super in right now. I feel like, you know, there's a time and place for every kind of makeup look. You do you. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you like. I just, right now, I've been really enjoying my skin and how good it's been lately. And I've just been enjoy enjoying my eyelashes and my eyebrows and, you know, just... I just think the whole natural thing is coming full circle and I feel like a lot more people are really into like the no makeup makeup look and I just feel like it's super easy and fun and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you guys you know have any other suggestions on what kind of videos you'd like to see then just leave it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye, guys.